Welcome to our video series on advanced features in Microsoft Word. In this video, we'll look at indenting, bulleted, and numbered lists. With bulleted and numbered lists, you can easily indent them further if you want. For example, you can indent the entire list by selecting it and choosing this. Increase indent, and we can do it again, and it just moves the list across the page if you wish. But generally, I find this particularly useful, and note you can take it as far left as the left margin. But let's indent it just once. But what you may find useful is sublists. For example, let's say this B, this B item, had two subpoints. We could select these, the two below it, and just indent those. And you see that automatically they become a sublist within the existing list. That's reflected in the slightly different format as well. The list numbering has a slightly different formatting, you see. And you can do that with bulleted lists as well. If we were to choose just this item and indent it, it changes the style, and it becomes a sublist within the existing bulleted list. Actually, we can take this even further. If we select those two and indent, and then let's make another sublist, select those two, and then select the bottom one. So you see that you can break down your bulleted and your numbered lists into more and more sublists if you want, if that's appropriate. 